Ooh. Yo, this is, I'm gonna be the ultimate bad guy. You're a guest at your friend's Billy's house. His, ma his mom gives you a, both a box of crayons and two pieces of paper. You're gonna be artistic and you are gonna draw in the draw on the paper. You're being behaving yourself very nicely so far. You draw a pretty picture. I'm gonna give it to Billy's mom because remember, I'm not trying to form any bonds here. A very strong sign of developing social etiquette. Emily's post would certainly ah nice. So now I'm actually getting better with communicating with people or at least remember i want to be able to learn how to manipulate people and if it gives me the ability to do that then i want to do that because that's something a trait that an evil person should have being very manipulating holy fuck yo check me out all right family for familio i have 34 in that in intellectual we're 100 and in physical we're 100 social we're 86 and vocational we're 51 we're very calm we're 74 Three confident, we're expressive, we have zero, almost nearly zero gentleness. And uh, everything else is pretty normal. Not bad. This is awesome. <laughs> I can't believe that such a simple game could bring so much attention to it. So, again, to everybody watching, thank you. You guys kick ass. Emotional. It is announced to your, uh, it is announced to you during a heart to heart talk that it's time for you to give up the bottle and drink from a glass like a big boy i'm gonna be i'm gonna be angry and stubborn i'm gonna be an asshole and i'm gonna refuse resist and refuse how are you going to show your resistance cry fold your arms and say no throw the bottle at mommy <laughs> yo check out my pitch baby you must be really furious that bottle is more than just a catch of drinking buddy it is a constant companion it has been a source of comfort and a weapon against adversaries you come to think as of it as the extension of yourself mom doesn't fully understand this wait no mom doesn't understand this at all you get whacked for being disrespectful Ooh. so we have two options suck your thumb as a substitute or learn to live without it we gotta be we gotta learn to live without it we cannot be attached to things. We're going to have certain things that we will be attached, but they're very specific. And, and I'm, I'm waiting for it to pop up. Because, like, again, we're still in baby form. So, you know, I, I'm trying to give everybody the... If there's seven stages in this, I'm going to have stages where I'm going to give people a false sense of security and and fuck with them. It'll be tough for a while. You'll turn to, you'll turn to Super Duck for comfort, believe me. Cold turkey is the best way to do it. Good luck. Nice. That's how we do things in the in the hole, yo. All right. So intellectual. You are sitting in a large place, and a furry man walks up to you. He's walking around you in circle. <gasps> oh my god, a furry man! I'm curious, and I'm gonna. We have two options: point at the furry man or make noises and talk to the furry man. I'm a baby. I haven't seen a furry man. Let's talk to the furry man. Let's talk to him. You yell to the furry man and he walks over to you. He makes a noise that sounds like this. Ruff. Then he sits on your leg. Grab the furry man by the head, push him off of you. Grab the furry man by the head. You grab him by his head. Oh wait no. You grab his head between your two hands. Hey! Now that man is licking you all over the face. Mommy says he's kissing you. Uh I'm gonna lick the furry man. His nose is cold and his hair is tickle your face. He tastes very salty and has bad breath. It's a puppy! Yay! A young puppy! Oh, you know what? The evil guy has to have something. Remember, I, I right now I'm giving him the ability to have one item or one something. And that was perfect because the dog, I think that's really, really good. So then at one point, something, if it, if it can happen, I'm going to make something happen to the dog if we can do it. And then I'm going to be even more fucked up. Like, I'm going to go from like being just a Saiyan to Super Saiyan when my dog dies. And I'm going to be even crazier so look at how evil oh my god i love being able to like think it's an evil person i love evil sly or i mean eddie <laughs> you're in a large department store waiting in line and there's an extremely well endowed woman standing in front of you she smiles it looks like she might be might be an interesting person to talk to am i not a fucking toddler why am i talking to like humans like if i knew what i'm what am i fucking stewie I don't, I don't know i'm gonna be inquisitive and i'm gonna ask her some questions 
because apparently being a child, I, I guess I know how to talk. Which questions would you like to ask her? Do you have a husband? Do you have a doggy? Mommy said that daddy has a thick skull. Do you? I tried very hard to pinch a penny like Aunt Edna, but I couldn't. Can you? Stop asking questions. I'm going to ask her this one. <laughs> Do you have a husband, sweetheart? Mm, hubba hubba. She tells you that she does have a husband. Fuck! Really? That was it? Oh, that was so lame. Emotional. You're alone in your parents' bedroom. There's a shiny silver quarter on the table. I'm gonna be the son of so we're gonna take that quarter and put it in a pocket. It is a really questionable to whether a child your age can tell whether something like this is truly right or wrong. You have a vague sense that you shouldn't have picked it up. Your mother sees you stash something in your pocket. She asks, what you have there? You say, uh, nothing. Her suspicion is immediately confirmed. She tries, don't, she pries your hand open and reveals the silver coin. You look cheapish. Your knowledge of mine and yours is rather primitive. She tries to explain why have you done is wrong, but you may still be too young to understand. Paris just to understand. <laughs> All right, we got two family scenarios, an emotional one and a social one. Let's see what's going on with the families. Daddy says, it's time to go to bed. I get cranky and mad and say, ignore the request. The actual options we have is cranky, mad, and tired. And the actions that we could have done were asked to stay up a little while longer. Say, I don't want to go to bed. Actually, hmm. You can't, the thing is like, I know you can negotiate with parents. So like the only thing you can do is be a dickhead. Like there's no in between. It's either what they say or what, or you fuck as a kid. Cause that's how I went in my house and in, in like my household. So like there's no winning. You can't win against parents unless you're a straight up dickhead in this scenario at least. So that in a stern voice says, excuse me, young man. Did I hear what I just, did you hear what I just said? Uh, keep ignoring him. Make, make believe you didn't hear him the first time. Yo, that is some pussy ass shit. Let's keep ignoring him. You sit there with your arms folded. You have made dad mad. He scoops you up and tosses you in bed. You cry yourself to sleep thinking how mean both of your parents are. Yo, I'm becoming that kid. I'm finally, this is shaping up for me to become this kid. Oh my God. I'm becoming a shithead. I'm becoming the worst person in the world. <laughs> It's Saturday morning and dad asks you to help with some chores. The super duck cartoon hour has just begun. I'm gonna be cranky and tell your dad to that you want to watch cartoons. Ignore him again. Yo. <laughs> you are spread out of the floor on the front of the TV when dad speaks to you. You put your hands on your face to hold your chin up and pound your foot on the floor. Dad says, come on champ, help me in the yard a little, you say. And I go, nope. I could go say, Dad, but that's not what a, what a, what is it, what a thug ass, evil person. Ugh, no, we say nothing. We poker face. Your dad feels hurt and angry. You have rejected him. He turns and walks out. Does this prevent, does this prevent you from enjoying Super Duck? <laughs> no, I'm not enjoying it better because I'm not listening to him. You should at least feel a little sorry for behaving the way you did. Little boys can be so rotten. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. I'm a rotten banana. A rotten banana. All right. So you are in the sandbox playing with your favorite toy. A larger, stronger child pulls it away from you and screams, Mine! What do you do? You will get angry and you grab it back. Give me the shit, motherfucker. The child seems much stronger than you. He puts three fingers in your mouth. Ugh. And tries to push you away. He is holding a metal toy above your head. Try to bite him or run away. Yo, fucking bite him. Crash! The metal toy comes down right on your head. Crash again. And crash! You're beginning to feel dizzy. You cry out. You cry out. Crash, crash! He finally stops. But your head and face are covered with blood. His mother takes him away before either of your parents can tell what happened. He was a problem child. He was very aggressive with very aggressive tendencies. He has done this to other children too. You were treatly, you were treated unfairly. Wow. 
That's my first experience dealing with somebody bigger and stronger than me. Why didn't they give me an option of like grabbing a rock? Whoop the shit out of him with that rock. If somebody's bigger than me, I find a way to take him out. That's, that's, you're bigger than me and I'm in a fight. There's, I'm going to even the odds one way or another. So what the hell? <clears throat> Time to feed the fish. You pinch a small amount of fish food between your fingers and tap on the glass. There's no sign of Gabriella. Hmm. Unaffected. And do nothing. Really. I don't care. I guess you're not ready to understand about death yet. But Gabriella has gone away. Little children and adults often hide their feelings by remaining aloof and unaffected on the outside. You will begin to miss the ritual of feeding and caring for this pet. Eventually, you will understand the pain of separation. Yo, why is this why is this game being all deep and shit? Making my uh my my heart go boom 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 boom. And no, actually, my heart goes. <laughs> All right. You're in the back seat of the car doing a very long ride. We are tired, and uh, I'll play games. Really, I don't want to talk to anybody in the in the car. Fuck it. You're too tired to play games. Are you feeling less sleepy all of a sudden? Mm, no, I'm still sleepy as fuck. Have a nice nap. I'll take the nap. There you go, there you go, holy fuck! Okay, cool, fuck yeah! Oh, yes, awesome! Oh, oh, yeah! Alright, <clears throat> you had just passed through infancy. We survive infancy! A brief look at your uh, a brief look at your life up to this time shows the following. Your family, your family life has not... Wait, no. Your family life has been not very good. You seem to be lacking the bonds that are so critical during this phase of life. I don't give a fuck. Physical. You have a healthy body. Social during this phase in life, nothing much is really expected for you. After all, you're just still much too young to throw a successful cocktail party. And frankly, anybody who still dribbles on himself probably wouldn't make the ideal dinner guest. However, by now there are some things you should have mastered. Your progress in this area shows. You have been the type of child who charms the lollipops of people. What? Really? You have been the type of child who is huggable and gets chicks pinched by old ladies with bright red lipstick. Now regarding your emotional and personality development. Oh god, this is a good one. Here we go, here we go. This is a, this is what we are looking for. You're not exactly the type of child who could be trusted to wash his hands before coming to the dinner table. Ew, I'm gross. If there is a piece of cake sitting in the refrigerator at noon, chances are it will be in your tummy by dinner. Oh, I like that. I'm mischievous. Your thoughtfulness characteristic really doesn't count for much in this Mario. Most children often find themselves at the mercy of whims and impulses. You're allowed to be cranky now. People will tolerate it much better than when you are a teenager. Then, your whining and carrying on will seem more objectionable. One thing about your character that has the tendency to put off people is your aggressiveness. You're the type of baby who likes to pull on loose pieces of clothing, hair, and any voluptuous fleshy objects that come within your reach that means titties you are going to have to learn the meaning of make nice that wraps up your status for the first molly i hope you like yourself if not you can always try to improve yourself in the molly's and the molly mo i can't do that models mod in the next parts to come there's plenty of time oh we can donate if you guys want there you go and oh here goes this is welcome to childhood practice yourself for heaven's sake in little things and then proceed to greater epictetus 50 120 ad discourse bki chapter 11 or 18 why did I say 11 chapter chapter 4 bomb 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 anyways let's go back here and let's see how we are now so in alter ego we have 34 familiar physical we lost we were 100, now we're at 90. Uh, we're still smart as fuck. Our gentleness has gone to 3 out of 4. So I'm slowly but surely seeing how that's becoming less relevant. So hopefully, I think I'm going to stop here right now. Uh, and I'll let you guys go. Hopefully, <laughs> you guys won't break the website too much where I'll be able to still make more videos. But to everybody, if you guys want to play this game, link in the description. And again, to everybody watching, thank you so much for taking your time and watching this 
playthrough of Alter Eager. My name is Sly Fox Down, and that was Eddie's life. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Alter Ego. Take care, homies. See ya.